this is a launchpad. And in today's video I will explain what a launchpad is and what you can do with it. This is part 1 of my tutorial series. First of all, there are a lot of Launchpad models out there and they all have slightly different functionality. There is the Launchpad S, the Launchpad Mini, the Launchpad MK2, the classic Launchpad Pro who is renamed to Launchpad MK1, the Launchpad X and the Launchpad Pro. I will cover the differences of the Launchpad models in a different video. In this video I will explain everything in general and on the classic Launchpad, Launchpad MK1. This one. So, what is a launchpad? A launchpad is a MIDI controller that means it doesn't work without a computer or a smartphone and a software like Ableton Live. And no, the launchpad doesn't have a speaker. The sound came from the computer or smartphone. A lot of people ask me that in the comments. You need a USB cable that is included in the box to connect it with your computer or smartphone to make the launchpad work. The launchpad has 64 square buttons who can be assigned with an audio sample and a light effect. A sample is a smart part of the song who will be played when you press the button. Usually the drums of the song are extracted so that you play the drums with a left hand and the rest of the songs with the right hand. Every audio sample and light effect are assigned to a one single button and have to be played in the correct order and perfect timing or it will sound like that. You probably noticed the round buttons here. They allow to change pages. Every page has a different sample and light effect loaded on it. The ways of using a launchpad. You can use the launchpad in different ways. DJ and music producers are using it to create the songs and remixes to perform on live events with it. Soundtech is a popular DJ and he's using a launchpad and other equipment for his remixes and performance. Then there's the big Launchpad community. I'm part of it and we use the Launchpad to cover and perform already existing songs and add light effects to make the performance more enjoyable and entertaining to watch. I like to divide the Launchpad community in four different types. The creators, the finger masters, the crazy wizards and the players. By the way, these names are created by me so... The first type are the creators. They are the most typical type of Launchpadder. We create launchpad covers and our main goal is to make our launchpad performance enjoyable to play and watch by using fancy light effects and most of the time easy to remember sample patterns. We release the project files of our covers so that other people can play. A good example for a creator is Kaskobi. He gained a lot of views and subscribers with his stunning launchpad cover. By the way, I'm also a launchpad creator. Then we have the finger masters, aka Sean Wasabi. People like him love to completely destroy their fingers by creating covers that are almost impossible to play. They impress their viewers with their playing skills and they focus on the sample and sample placement. They mostly doesn't create fancy light effects like us. Next, we have the crazy wizards. I actually know just one very good example, and that's Lumi. He's using the launchpad to create stunning light shows. They are not sampling the song, but instead putting all the effort in the light shows and sometimes even using more than just a launchpad. <laughs> Last but 
not least, we have the players. Mostly beginners who play the covers made by Launchpad creators. Some of them record their performance and upload them to YouTube. And others just play them for fun. I hope this video was helpful and entertaining for you. I will publish some more in-depth tutorials about how I create my Launchpad covers, how I record my videos and how I edit.